Get your special discount offer on the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com slash video. The cross-tab report format allows you to view information in one column, buy information in another column, and then display the summary value of yet a third column in the intersecting report cells. In essence, a crosstab looks much like a giant spreadsheet would, and perhaps you have a familiarity with using crosstab data in spreadsheet applications. For example, if you had a data table which had a column for each sale, the customer, the sale date, and the sales total, you could create a crosstab that lists the sales grouped by quarter across the top of the crosstab, with the customers listed down the left side of the crosstab, and the sum of all the sales totals for each customer by quarter shown in the intersecting cells. Now crosstab reports are complete and separate reports that can stand well on their own. Often they will interfere with summary data displayed within a primary report if they're inserted as a report object. Ensure that you try to only use crosstab reports as sub-reports within primary reports which utilize the same record set or have the same table joins. If you still have difficulty, you can instead create the crosstab as a separate report, which you can then link to the main report as a sub-report. You can create a crosstab in a report by just simply choosing Insert from the menu bar and then choosing the crosstab command. You could also just click the Insert crosstab button in the Insert toolbar if you'd prefer. Either way, it will launch the crosstab expert dialog box where you click through the crosstab style and customize style across the top of the dialog box, setting the desired options on each tab in order to create the crosstab object. Now on the crosstab tab, you can add data fields from the current table or report fields displayed in the available fields list into either the columns, rows, or summarized fields list boxes at the right side of the dialog box. So to do this, click on the name of the field which you wish to select in the available fields list and click the right pointing arrow button to move the chosen field into the selected list box. Fields added to the columns and rows lists will effectively be treated as grouped fields. They will only display their unique values down the left side of the crosstab grid for rows or across the top of the crosstab grid for columns. So for example, if we added shipped quarter into the columns and then clicked group options, we can set options for the display of the information which is grouped together. For the rows then, let's say we want to take the product name and once again you can click group options and choose the order because they are being grouped. Now fields that are added to the summarized fields list will have a calculation performed over the intersecting values for each unique value found in the columns and rows. So here we could choose product sales and add that to the summarized fields list. If you'd like to change the summary, because right now it's going to sum product sales, you can click the change summary button and choose which calculation to perform. Now if you added a field to the incorrect list, you can remove it by selecting it and then clicking on the left pointing arrow button to move it back into the list of available fields. Or if you have multiple fields added to the list, you can click on any one to select it and then click the up and down arrow buttons that appear above and to the right of the lists to reorganize the order in which the fields would appear. Also note that you can select any one of the rows or columns and click group options to launch the crosstab group options dialog box. And here you can see the fields whose intersecting values will be calculated. So you can change how the groups will be sorted on the common tab. And on the options tab you can choose to customize the group name field if you would prefer. Oftentimes this can be useful for date fields. You can also change the summary of the summarized field once again by clicking on the name of the summarized field to change and then clicking the change summary button. Now when you're finished changing your summaries and your grouping options, then just click OK to return to the crosstab tab in the crosstab expert dialog box. 
Now note that there are also four buttons available for use under the available fields list in this dialog box. You can select a field, such as say shipped quarter, and click the browse data button to browse through some sample data shown in the field. And you can close that window when you're finished. You can click the Find Field button to launch the Enter Search Name dialog box where you can type in the name of a field for which you're searching and then click OK. That field is then highlighted in the available fields list. You can also create a new formula field to use within the cross tab by clicking the New Formula button to launch the Formula Name dialog box where you can enter a name for the new formula field and then click the Use Editor button to create the formula in the Formula Editor window. You can then select a formula field to edit after creating it in the available list fields and click the edit formula button which is available to edit the selected field in the formula editor window as well. Now once you've done any options that are necessary on the cross tab tab you can click the style tab to select a preset style which you can apply to your cross tab from the list displayed. You can see a preview of the way that the select style will look in the preview at the right side of the tab. If you wish to modify the style you've selected, then you can click the Customize Style tab. And in the Customize Style tab, you can set the desired options of the display of your style. Just click on a style displayed in either the columns or the rows, and the one that you select is the one that you'll modify. Make any changes to the selection in the summarized fields by checking or unchecking checkboxes or the group options as well. So for example you can change background colors if you would like. In the grid options section you can also check or uncheck any additional display options you'd like your cross tab to show or hide. You can even click the format grid lines button in the lower left corner of the tab to invoke the Format Grid Lines dialog box, where you can select a set of lines to display or hide by checking or unchecking the Draw checkbox in the lower left, or I'm sorry, lower right corner for the selected set of lines. You can also select a set of lines from the list displayed on the left and then simply check the draw button to draw them or hide the drawing of them. Now when you've finished setting the display of the grid lines, click OK to return to the customized style dialog box. And on that tab, after you've checked any additional options that you would like, just click OK and then click where you would like to insert the cross tab into your selected report. When you preview it, you get an idea of how it would look. So here we can see all the names of the different items which we sell and how much we have sold for each quarter and then the total amount sold for each one of those items. You can also make changes to the width of the columns and other minor editing changes as needed which you can then see in the preview. Like what you see? Get your special discount offer on the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com slash video. Over two dozen titles are available in Microsoft Office, QuickBooks, Photoshop, and much more.